Hi, dear friends. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning back here. Thank you for your love and your support. But if it is your first time here on my channel, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, YouTube automatically will turn on that notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be the first one to be notified. So friends, those who are asking how I am doing, guys, I am doing better, not fully recovered. So thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you for the love that you have been showing me, the love and care. I appreciate so much, guys. So let us go to our today's video. Our today's video is going to be a story time. <laughs> Actually, guys, it is a part two of Condi's love story, the last part. For those who did not watch her part one love story, please go back and watch her part one love story, then come back here for the continuation. It will help you to understand very well this love story but for those who watched her part one i'm going to be starting from where we stopped last time so dear friends before we jump into the continuation of condi's love story i have a request to make please please do not judge condi on what happened in this love story because remember we are not here to judge and in life at some point we make mistakes. At some point, shits happen, okay? <laughs> so the reason to why Condi accepted to share with you her love story is for you all to learn from her mistakes, not to repeat the same same mistakes that she did. That's it. So what I'm requesting is you guys not to be hard on her on the comment section because Condi right now is going through a very tough moment. So being so hard on her on the comment section will not help at all. It is going to make the situation worse and I don't want that to happen. So guys, without wasting much of your time, let us continue with Condi's love story. So dear friends, in part one, we ended whereby Condi went to Germany to visit her boyfriend and was welcomed very, very well. All went super good. His family was so kind to her, caring, generous, especially her mother-in-law was so sweet. The best mother-in-law you can pray for. So she stayed there. Yes, happened some Afro cinemas, but because they love each other, they overcame that. Condi stayed three weeks in Germany and had to return to South Africa. So after returning to South Africa, the relationship continued. They kept on talking, building their relationship. And from there, Condi tells us the boyfriend started planning to go visit her again in South Africa. Remember, she visited him in Germany, April 2023. And the boyfriend was planning to go to South Africa, visit her again in July 2023. So yes, guys, July came and Condi's boyfriend traveled from Cairo to South Africa. Tells us they met at Ortambo Airport. And the plan was to take the boyfriend to meet her family, get to meet her daughter eventually. Because I remember in part one, there is a comment I saw, someone saying that we have not heard Condi introducing the boyfriend to her family. <laughs> so now you have the answer, yeah. So that was their plan. Condi worked in Cape Town, but was from the village. Like I said in part one, comes from Limpopo, the northern part of South Africa. So yes, they decided to travel, go to the village. Also tells us had talked to the mom about the visit and told her to prepare this cultural food that Condi liked very, very much and wanted the boyfriend to try it. So the name of this food, no matter how good at languages, 
I failed completely to pronounce it. I'm going to be putting it here for you guys to see. But South Africans, you will know this food. Tells us it is the mixture of white beans, red beans, kidney beans, and pea nuts. Very, very delicious. And when they arrived, they were welcomed very, very well. Her mother liked him very, very much because he was such a loving guy. So they had to eat the food that she prepared, that cultural food. Simon liked the food so much. Yeah. She was really, really happy and surprised that he liked their cultural food. So during their stay, Condi's boyfriend adapted so fast and so well <laughs> in the village environment. Condi tells us he was the one to prepare firewood can you believe it? <laughs> a Muzungu that was not born in Africa, that has never been to Africa, preparing firewood <laughs> and also making fire. Yeah, he could do that. Kondi was happy that the boyfriend adapted. But also, guys, I think he did all that because he was truly in love with Kondi. Because when a guy truly loves you, will do anything for you. Plus, guys, yes, Kondi worked in Cape Town, but that village life was part of her life, okay? <laughs> it is her second home. And if they were to get married in the future, that will be Simon's part of life too. So it wasn't going to be good for him to pretend Oh, I'm a white guy. I can't do that. These complain all the time. No. <laughs> so this shows you a guy that has got future plans with you. Because a guy who doesn't have any future plans with you, those are the white guys that comes to Africa and starts to complain on everything that happens. You take him to the village. He's like, what kind of life is this? How are you guys surviving? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how they do it. <laughs> the losers, the players. So let me hope you have learned something from this. And really on this, I give credit on Simon's mother because she grew up him so well. So guys, I know you, my babies, in part one, we heard how Simon's mother sent 100 euros for her visa process. We also had the mother-in-law giving her $300 to use at Doha. We also heard how the mother-in-law booked for the hotel for them when she was leaving without forgetting when she took her shopping and bought her, you know, gifts, things for her daughter too. So you my babies that always points out the red flag, I know in part one you are like, how comes you're not hearing Simon, you know, buying this, buying that, doing this for her, apart from the gifts that he brought when he went to visit her for that first time. So first of all, I think I talked about this in the past, in my previous videos. Yeah, things are different here. In most families in Africa, Parents look up to their kids. When they grow up, they find jobs, you know, they have to take care of their parents. But here in Europe, at least for the experience that I have, parents take care of their kids. Yeah, you find parents are the ones giving money to their kids. <laughs> so don't be surprised at how Simon's mother took care of of Condi, how she was giving her money, <laughs> buying her things. But you know, in Africa, maybe if you were to go and visit the mother-in-law, you were the one like to buy gifts and, and probably give her money. <laughs> yeah. So that is number one. But number two, Condi tells us they stayed two weeks in the village. And after those two weeks, they had to go back to work, meaning Simon went back to Cairo and Condi had to go back to Cape Town and keep on working. Tells us, Bella, I've got a good paying job. I can't hide that. But 
Simon used to take care of everything. Even the flights from Cape Town to Ortambo, he is the one that paid for it. So he could pay for my bills, only small, small things. For example, if I order something online like a book, you know, something small, I could cover for that. But majority of her bills, Simon could pay for it. That shows us he was a responsible guy. Yeah. So dear friends, when Simon returned to Cairo and Condi continued with her work in Cape Town, everything continued to go so well. Even Simon started talking about getting married. Told her to do a research on how is it like, you know, things needed, the requirements needed for them to get married in South Africa. And told her, I am also going to do my own research what is needed, requirements needed to get married in Germany. So he did his own research, came back to her and was like, I found the information that... It is very easy to get married in Denmark than in Germany. You know, in Germany, it is going to be kind, complicated, but we can get married in Denmark without any hassles. Then, Connie told him, but there is a culture, you know, our culture, that you need to observe before we get married. He was like, we can do that after marriage. Kondi was fine. And the plan was for them to get married in April 2024. But Simon also kept waiting on Condi's side what she found out on how to get married in South Africa. So friends, everything kept on going super good. Condi was happy over the moon. You know the feeling that you get when you finally find that right guy. <laughs> when you go to bed to sleep, you sleep peacefully like a baby. <laughs> yeah, that was Condi's life. So December comes and we all know December, it's Christmas time. So Condi's daughter and his little brother were coming to stay with her during that Christmas time. Same, same time, her boyfriend was also coming to spend Christmas with her. So she was really excited, started planning, organizing everything, you know, to be in order so that they can enjoy Christmas. And yeah, a time came, Condi's boyfriend traveled from Cairo to South Africa. She went to pick him at the airport. They were so happy to meet each other again and went home. So guys, as he was there at her house, you know, enjoying good times together, waiting for Christmas, one day decided to go through her phone. The devil is a liar, guys. So going through her phone, he finds that Condi has been communicating with her ex-boyfriend. If you remember that first boyfriend at campus, you guys that watched part one, yeah, they were communicating. So when he saw their messages, was super, super angry at Condi. Condi tells us all break loose, yeah. He started accusing her of cheating on him, started telling her, why are you still entertaining your ex? It seems like you want him back. Condi explained and explained, but he did not want to understand. And guys, the truth is, it's not that they were chatting anything explicit. Condi says, not at all. They were chatting and that ex-boyfriend was telling her of his failed marriage. Also was asking her about Condi's boyfriend, Simon. Was like, I saw him on your Facebook stories. So they were chatting and even chatting in English. Because Condi says, yes, the guy was South African, but from a different tribe. And they were both not fluent in each other's local language. So that is why they could communicate using English. But Condi's boyfriend did not believe anything. Condi was trying to tell him. So really, there was a tension. So they talked and... It reached a point like he was trying to understand her and eventually said he has forgiven her. 
so they kept on you know their relationship but sometimes he could still ask her are you planning on sleeping with your ex <laughs> Conde could say no never so in mid-january this year 2024 he returned back to work but Condi tells us from that incident things were not the same anymore so guys the relationship continued but he kept on bringing Condi's ex in their conversation to an extent Condi was like look simon i think what is happening between us is unhealthy how about we stay off each other for a month without communicating nothing and see what will happen if we will realize we love each other so much we miss each other so much we can move on it will be good for our emotions <laughs> guess what the guy said no we are continuing with our relationship so guys he refused a break and they continued with their relationship then started telling condi please find information on how to get married in South Africa. So here Condi says, to be honest, I did not bother to look for any information and told him, look, I am very busy. I work 12 hours shift and I work in an engine room where there is lots of noise. And at the same time, I am studying. So whenever I am home, I am resting or busy studying. When he heard that, broke up with her so she tells us he broke up with her on 14th april 2024 that day she had organized with her friends to go to the grand west casino watch west life because they were in town and performing live so tells us when he broke up with her cried so much drove all the way to grand west casino crying and crying arriving there her eyes were red to an extent the friends asked her what is happening why are your eyes red you know was so embarrassed to tell them that my boyfriend broke up with me told them i have got problems with my eyes so they entered the room you know to watch west life what helped her were the lights in that room kind dark so as she was watching west life was crying and crying and crying about the breakup. So guys, Kondi tells us that was the end of her love story with Simon. The relationship lasted for two good years. They were really, really happy together. They were so much in love with each other. That is why him breaking up with her broke her heart. It was like it pierced my heart. The first few weeks, was not easy for her says she is an extrovert but this whole situation has made her to be an introvert she could stay in her cabin never wanted to see anyone cry and cry and cry to an extent her mother got so worried had to book for 10 session with a therapist which she did but tells us in all those 10 sessions could cry and cry and cry that the therapist suggested she should book for another five sessions so till now she is better but to be honest not good at all at all so friends before you click off this video we are not done yet okay because now it's time for me to give you the advice what did we learn from her love story the mistakes that she made that you guys are not supposed to do because you know how it is very hard to find love online and i think with condi she was so lucky in 11 days had found the one she did not suffer that much to find the one she did not meet those weird weird men online those who want to play games those who tell you show me what your mama gave you not at all but you guys that have been online for so long you know the struggle is real so i don't want you to struggle this much then god brings that right man that you prayed for and then you lose him just like that it will hurt me very very much that is why i am here guys 
So number one mistake that Condi did was the one at the club. Yeah, she was not supposed to dance with a stranger, not even a friend, unless the boyfriend, you know, agreed to that. Guys, if you remember on the story I shared with you on how I met my husband, you know, when I came here for the first time, I told you when I came, my husband likes to sing. So there was a party with his friends and he was singing. I was seated there. I didn't know Italian. I didn't know these people. Yes, they were his friends, but it was my first time to meet them. So the music was playing. Everyone was dancing. They came and told me, come, we dance together. So I danced with them, you know, a group dance. But also there are some guys who wanted to dance with me, you know. <laughs> what they did they are his friends but they could go and be like biagio can we dance with your girlfriend <laughs> then he could tell them yes and my husband says he's not a jealousy guy at all at all his friends knows that but due to the respect they have for each other that is why they had to ask him to dance with me that is how things are guys so she asked for forgiveness he forgave her but it doesn't mean he forgot it he did not and guys one thing you need to be careful about i told you don't make anything that will make your boyfriend to start doubting you especially if you are in a long distance relationship because if you start doing things, for example, you are a lady who likes clubbing, every night you go clubbing, the boyfriend calls you, you're not available, you never even told him you are going clubbing, of course, he will start having doubts on you, like, why didn't you tell him? If you are dating a guy, all is going well, you see all your boxes are tick, 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 I told you, start treating him as your boyfriend he should know your daily activities he should know where you are going you should inform him and he should do the same i'm not saying you should be the only one doing that he should also doing the same that is how you build your relationship but i repeat avoid creating doubts with your boyfriend so that was number one you know kind of a doubt there so him discovering that he was chatting with the ex oh my goodness he takes her dancing with a stranger at the club in germany plus this one it was so hard for him to trust condi yeah he really tried but i can tell you the way i know these men <laughs> he was fighting you know with himself like how can i trust her if someone danced with a stranger in front of me and now chatting with the ex how can i believe she is loyal to me how can i believe she's been faithful to me so dear friends there is something i've been observing and i talked about this you know the good thing is that all the information is in here i've shared this i gave you advice concerning this you are online searching for love, have gone through lots of challenges, you know, in your journey to find the one. And eventually, God brings the right guy. A guy that all boxes tick, tick, tick. When you find him, don't take him for granted. I told you guys, a guy loving you does not mean he is stupid. He is not. So if you take him for granted, he will know that you are taking him for granted. And eventually you are going to lose him i don't want that to happen like last time i was talking to one of my babies <laughs> and the boyfriend was having a birthday so i asked her what have you prepared for him you know something special and to my surprise my baby's like no you know what i've gone through in the past relationships i want this guy to be the one to show me love i want him to be the one to love me <laughs> but me no i'm like girl you are doing it wrong. You guys, if you have gone through a very, very bad relationship experience in the past, that's the past. Don't take it on a guy that you're going to meet online. 
please please <laughs> because for example like this baby of mine i'm talking about that guy really loves her so much he has done a lot for her even on her birthday sent her money to celebrate her birthday but it is his birthday and she's like no nothing special you know i want him to be the one to love me the guy will eventually see that the relationship is one-sided he is the one making efforts and you know and that's how you take a guy for granted stop it guys even with condi you know was in love and saw that the guy really loved her and she loved the guy too i can't say she did not love the guy she truly loved the guy but somehow took him for granted so we shouldn't make this mistake so if you're online you meet a guy and he's ticking all your boxes please please show him all your good qualities if this guy is showing you so much love show him too so much love show him you care show him you are so happy you're grateful you know to have him in your life another mistake that i noticed condi did was when the guy asked her you know to look for information for them to get married this is the same same thing i'm telling you taking someone for granted because the guy did his own part on his side and had the response even told her you know i found out it is easy to get married in denmark but condi was clear here said never bothered to look for any information because she was busy with studies and work so a guy who is serious will sit down and question himself maybe i am the only one that wants us to get married maybe this woman is not even interested in getting married because the answers she's giving me is clear is not of a lady who is really ready to get married not of a lady who is in love but at that time condi didn't know what was going to be the consequences because she knew the guy loved her she knew he was just going to understand her situation <laughs> which was wrong because sometimes these men understand 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 and reach a point no they be like i am done why should i be understanding all the time why is she not putting efforts like i am putting efforts into this relationship this applies to you too guys when you are chatting with a guy maybe he came to visit you in your country and then starts talking of inviting you you don't have enough information on how is it like to travel to another country and maybe you're scared so you start giving him excuses oh i'm busy with work oh blah 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 abc <laughs> when you do that he's like okay i think she's not interested so if a guy is telling you i'm planning to invite you instead of being like i'm busy right now or you don't have a clear answer to give him maybe because you're scared to travel you'd like to do more research before you respond don't give him answers that will seem like you are not interested be like it's okay my love no problem we can work on that meanwhile run to bella if you're a bella baby and let's talk about it okay <laughs> yeah one time i said long distance relationships are very very tough very tough guys and the reason i said you should chat with a guy for three months and tell you what is his concrete plan it's because you chatting for so long you staying in a relationship for so long things can happen there in the middle like how you see what happened to condi they dated for two years and they had plans of getting married but never got married once you know both of you are in love start working towards staying together leave alone this dating thing go and return go and return go and return but attention here don't get me wrong don't rush to get married if you are not ready i'm saying if you know you are ready you love the guy all your doubts are cleared you know he gave you all the answers all the boxes tick 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 why should you guys keep on dating because the devil comes there you know <laughs> 
if you remember there is a video i shared here i called different ladies that found love online and one of my friend safi told you that the devil hates marriage so that period that you guys are planning to get married everything is good the devil comes in so that is why you should always pray guys pray 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 for your relationships no matter things are good don't only pray when things are bad no pray even when things are going good in the right direction sometimes i cry because there is something that i've been noticing and i'm like god what are you trying to tell me? Because every time I become very, very consistent in praying, and you know, guys, I always pray for you to find love, you know, among of my prayers. So when I intensify the prayers, I start getting lots of success stories. Like that week, I wake up in the morning, success stories flowing. Thank God. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So God is good and he listens to our prayers. We should always pray even if things are good. Another thing that I want you all to know is that you see the way you come to me to ask, Bella, is this guy the one? Bella, please help me out. You know, you look for information. A serious guy too, when you start giving him doubts, what does he do? He goes to look for information. For me, it has happened. Men approaching me here on YouTube and even on my Instagram, wanting me to help them clear their doubts on the girlfriends they are dating. Like Bella, you know, I watched one of your videos. You are talking of some ladies, you know, using white guys to go to Europe. So, I'm scared. I'm, I'm dating this lady. One, two, three, four has been happening. What do you think? So those who come to me, at least they are lucky. I give them the right advice, but not all will go to look for someone who has experience to guide them. Not at all. Some will talk to their close friends. And that is where trouble begins. Because at the time they talk to their close friends, and maybe these close friends, because not everyone likes black women, not everyone likes black people. <laughs> it can happen. One of the friend, you know, is arrested and then goes to talk to that friend. What do you think will be the response from that friend, provided that you have given this guy the reason to start doubting you? Of course, the friend will tell him, leave the girl. If you remember Sandra's love story, the Ugandan lady who found love with a Polish guy and that Polish guy at some point when everything was going on well, planning to go to Uganda and get married to her, this guy blocked her. She was there wondering what could have happened. Why did he block her? But when he came back, what did he say? He told her clearly that I talked to my friends about you and my friends advised me to be careful because most of online dating girls can make you go broke. Most are scammers. And it is possible even those friends never tried online dating, but they hear. <laughs> On the dating sites exist ladies who are scammers, ladies who can make you go broke. So at some point, he believed the friends. That is why he blocked Sandra. And thanks to God, Sandra was very, very prayerful. And when she was chatting with the boyfriend, did not show the boyfriend anything to doubt her. So he sat down and was like, no, that Ugandan lady is really the one. She was such a nice lady. I can't afford to lose her. That is why he went back to Sandra and now they are married. But sometimes it can go really, really wrong. He can approach a wrong person and that person can give him the wrong advice. And as I was talking to Condi, Condi told me, Bella, I have been waiting for him to come back. I don't know why he just ended our relationship like that. For me, what I suspect, he might have talked to one of his friends about the whole situation and that friend started scaring him like oh my god still chatting with the ex 
what if she is collaborating with the ex you know to take advantage of you how can you trust her remember the club incident and her chatting with the ex i'm very sure if he talked to any of his friends <laughs> I told him run run from this lady <laughs> she is not good for you and also Condi told me one of the friends they went to to the club when the boyfriend phoned the message of the ex-boyfriend was like if I tell my friend that you have been chatting with your ex he is going to tell me to leave you immediately and you know I was right all along <laughs> yeah and unfortunately guys exist ladies that have put a bad name on us you know those ladies that used white guys or maybe go to europe but in real sense they were not in love with those guys or exist those ladies you know they date these white guys online only to take their money i had a story whereby a lady was chatting with a white guy online but in reality that lady was married so they arranged to meet the guy went to kenya arriving there finding out the lady was married whereby he has invested a lot of money into that relationship and emotions too because was in love with that lady so with all these bad bad stories when someone finds you online you should make sure not to do anything give him second thoughts you know about you i told you how it is so difficult for them to trust you but once they gain your trust and then you break that trust it is impossible to be trusted again it's like that once a white guy moves on they really move on they don't look back guys i have been advising my babies you know especially those that at welcome their boyfriends in their countries or you at travel to your boyfriend's country delete all the numbers of those losers all of them because <laughs> they know sometimes due to the struggle is real you find yourself having loads of numbers <laughs> of those losers <laughs> yeah so cancel them all delete 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 those excess block 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 don't let anything come between your relationship because a good guy is hard to find and when you find him please keep him also guys before i go please please i insist on you studying the guy you are dating get to understand him and there is this question i told you to ask a guy when you are dating what happened in his past love relationship this will help you to know how to handle that guy because some guys are still hurt it's not that they are still in love with their exes not at all but they are still hurt on what happened for example you are dating a guy and maybe his relationship ended because the wife the girlfriend was cheating on him so you knowing that story you will make sure not to create any drama not to give this guy second thoughts or any reasons to doubt that you are cheating on him maybe dated a lady and scammed her lots lots of money so with a guy like that money topics should be very very sensitive you should think very well on how to phrase the money topics of course you have to talk about money but there is a way you can bring out a topic without creating any suspicion so you asking about his past love relationship experience it's not that you want to compete with the ex and show the guy that i'm better than your ex not at all but know how to move around <laughs> in that relationship it's important guys so condi has not moved on yet but i advised her to just move on you can't keep on waiting on someone that you don't even know what they are doing in life right now because he blocked her everywhere she tried to talk to the mother-in-law but the mother-in-law told her condi i am aware simon told me you broke up so we have nothing to talk about so she might be there crying thinking he will come back 
but in real sense, maybe Simon found someone and has moved on with his life. So she should just move on. If it is destiny, maybe Simon will come back one day. That's up to God what will happen. But the most important thing is to just move on. Mistake done. We learn from the mistakes life moves on so guys let me end here we are going to meet each other next time yeah <laughs> i'm going to try my best to be bringing more content every week just stick around thank you so much for watching this video till now i really appreciate much may god bless you if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.